Growing the Colony, Second Week with the Dermestid Beetles Monday, February 20th, 2023 This video shows and discusses insects that are involved in decomposition. This topic may not be for everyone. Alright, I'm back for week two, checking on my beetles. It is nice and toasty in here in the greenhouse. The thermometer I just checked with the thermostat says that the temperature in there is a bit warm, so I'll probably just unplug the reptile mat and uh, make sure that uh, it's not too toasty. Okay, so I took the lid off and the beetles were very, very active. Uh, you can see them there. So I'm realizing right now that the uh, reptile mat is not actually plugged into the thermometer outlet. They plugged it directly in here, so I need to unplug that. Yeah. You can see I've unplugged it, so hopefully they'll cool off a bit. Close this up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do today's wellness check on the beetles. Yeah, this probe is reading 30 degrees. That's kind of the upper end of their range. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and spray some water in there. I've unplugged the reptile mat, so they should cool off and be quite comfortable for the next few days. Got a little guy crawling around there. some little guys crawling on there. This is great. Let's take a look underneath, just out of curiosity. Okay, so as you can see, I've completely taken the heating mat out from underneath. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is actually put some paper towel on top of this. So I'm gonna do that now. There we go. So now it's all covered with paper towel, so I'm hoping again that this will make it easier for them to crawl on top of the pig trotter. Yeah, there's some activity down there with the beetles. Yeah, they seem happy enough. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do today was put the fine mesh on top of this. So the other piece that I had cut out, I wasn't super happy with the size of it. So I actually bought another roll of that fine mesh wire. I'm gonna cut out another piece and stick it on top here. And that's everything for tank two for today. One more thing that I'm adding to my kit today is this little set of forceps. So these forceps are nice and soft, so if I do need to pick up the beetles individually, I can do that without squishing them. Okay, I'm gonna do one more check on the temperature probe that's underneath here. See that things have cooled off just a little bit. All right, it looks like the tank has cooled off now that I've unplugged that reptile mat and you can see the humidity has gone up in there as well. So I think that's a good thing. Done for the day. Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. Thank you.
Right, I'm back at the Botanic Gardens again today. It's Wednesday. We have this beautiful rainy weather today. I'm excited to check on my beetles and see how they're progressing. I got some cricket quencher that I'm going to feed them today, so I'm excited to give them that. So let's go inside and see how they're doing today. Okay, so for today's addition to the tank, I'm going to be putting some of this cricket quencher in. This should help the beetles stay hydrated, especially on the weekends and other times where I have a few days in between coming in to spray the tank and giving them a bit more moisture. So now let's check on how the beetles are doing. Not seeing a whole lot of activity at front. Let me just put some gloves on and I'll go into the tank. All right, we're at 24 degrees Celsius, 24.1 degrees Celsius and 50% humidity. I'm gonna open this up. Got some, I've got my forceps here so I can put stuff inside the tank. There we go. There's the temperature from outside the tank. So it looks like it's quite humid in there. Let's take a look in here. It's a lot of frass. Oh, there's some. Here's some movement. Ah, they're under there. All right, so let's stick some of the cricket quencher in. some stuff there for them. Okay, so I'm hoping this will last plenty long enough. I'll come back tomorrow and see how much of this quicket cruncher, how much of this quicket cruncher, quencher, how much of this cricket quencher has been consumed by the beetles. I think I am going to plug the heating mat back in today just because it is a little bit on the cooler side. For me, this is a little bit of trial and error trying to get the environment and temperature just right in here so that they will multiply and be very happy. I've also put some more of the cotton wool pleat material in on top and I've reorganized their bedding a bit. So everything looks a little bit more tidy in here for now. Give it a little spray. Here we go. That's all they need, I think, with the cricket puncher in there. They should be good to go. Here's the heating mat. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. I'm just gonna go into this box. Plug it in. All right, I just had a chat with a really nice lady who works here. She just told me about all of her pets. And yeah, so now I'm, uh, I'm going to close this up. Uh, it was a lovely chat. So now I'm gonna close this up. See if I can arrange this in a way where things are not squishing each other quite so much. Yeah. Oh, that's that's awkward. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. That should work. Everything's set in there. Let's see how the temperature probe is doing. Okay. Oh, I see. It's fine on here, but for some reason it's flashing <laughs> on, uh, on the phone screen. So it's not actually flashing in real life, but yeah, it's reading. So the probe is reading 23.9 degrees and it's set to shut off at 26.3 degrees. So that should be a good temperature for the beetles. So I just wiped off my forceps with some of the antiseptic hand solution, so now I'm just going to put these away inside my kit. Alright, 
let's take one last look at the beetles, see how they're doing. See that my beetles and larvae have found some of this cricket quencher and they're very happily munching on that. Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. It's Thursday. We've made it through two weeks with the beetles. So they're still alive. They're doing well. They seem to be reproducing happily in the tank, which is great. I'm going to eat lunch with some friends. I'll check on the beetles one more time for this week, and then I'll leave them until Monday. open up the tank see how they're doing so it looks like the cricket quencher was very successful here and I'm gonna put some more in all right they look like they're in good shape the temperatures in a good place so I'll come I'll leave everything how it is now and I'll come back on Monday I ran out of battery on an earlier visit here and I wanted to show you what I did to modify the boxes so I basically just took the boxes that the tanks came in Keeping and modifying the original boxes was Peter's idea. Thanks, Peter. This was brilliant. And I cut some slats in them to allow for some ventilation. So I cut a slat here on either side, on the short sides here. And then there's kind of a little bit longer slat on the back. So that allows ventilation through the box out of the tank. 